Meanwhile, on to some news that broke just a short while ago. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has warned Iran of military action. As tensions between Washington and Tehran escalates, Netanyahu has said that Israeli jets can reach anywhere in the Middle East, including Iran and Syria. אני בסיור מרשים מאוד בבסיס חיל האוויר, אני רואה את כל מערכות הנשק שלנו ואת המטוסים שלנו מאחורי מטוס האדיר, ה-F-35. איראן מאיימת לאחרונה בהשמדת ישראל. כדאי שהיא תזכור שהמטוסים האלה יכולים להגיע לכל מקום במזרח התיכון, גם לאיראן, בוודאי גם לסוריה. Now, remember, last week a senior Iranian official had said that Israel would be destroyed in an hour if the U.S. attacks Iran. And now we have uh, our West Asia Bureau Chief uh, Daniela Pagani joining us live here on Rion Fine Print for more. That's right, Daniela. Uh, those statements from Netanyahu uh, are clearly an indication of what's been brewing uh, inside Israel ever since uh, Iran announced that it has breached uh, the uranium enrichment levels. For all those who actually follow West Asian affairs, uh, this is not exactly new. Iran every now and then tells to the world that it intends to annihilate and destroy Israel. This is what the hardliners in Iran have been advocating for at least four decades. Uh, the Israeli Prime Minister today visiting the airfield uh, just thought it was a, a wise choice to remind Iran, which is actually blowing on the fire of tensions between Washington and Tehran on the nuclear deal, that in case any, any military action is actually taken towards Israel, Israel has the firepower to counterattack very effectively. And this is very true. The arsenal that Israel has is uh, quite up to date, and also they have just developed missiles which are capable of hitting underground nuclear bunkers. So that would hit Iran very hard if it happens. So this is the status of confrontation. But also, on the other hand, Iran has quite a number of leverages that it can use against Israel. Remember that Iranian troops are well entrenched in Syria, not too far from Israeli borders, so that the Lebanese Hezbollah has more than 150,000 missiles ready eventually to attack Israel, and that even from Gaza, the same can happen. So it's a very dangerous uh, scenario. We all definitely need to hope that no military confrontation takes place between Iran and Israel. Right. And Daniel, I also want to ask you, we were mentioning about how Iran has also been making rather flagrant statements against uh, Israel in the process uh, of uh, uh, you know, hitting out against uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, you know, how do you see Iran reacting to those statements from Benjamin Netanyahu? Well, not um, in terms of in military terms, uh, certainly. Uh, this is a war of words, as I said, uh, meant to scare, so to say, the opponent and also to win hearts and minds within the country. Uh, these proclaims that the Iranian hardliners do are more meant for their internal consensus base uh, rather than actually meant to scare Israel. They are not really a message to Israel, but they are just a way to keep up the spirit of all those who in Iran oppose the very existence of the state of Israel. So uh, it is quite unlikely that the two countries will actually come to a direct confrontation, but unfortunately, given the rising tensions and the more and more toxic and flammable environment that is becoming West Asia, anything can happen at any time. Anything can happen at any time is the word coming in from our West Asia Bureau Chief Daniela Pagani who joins us live from Amman in Jordan. Thank you, Daniela, for being with us here on We on Fine Print. Now, away from...